I can't tell you how good it feels to finally let go of something that is holding you back. This could be anything, any vice that you indulge in on a daily basis, when you finally let go of that thing that has this power over you, that has control over you, you finally let go of that and you feel this true fulfillment for the first time in a long time. I used to smoke weed daily for about three years. It had a hold on me. I was a slave to it. I needed it to eat. I needed it to sleep. I needed it to be happy. I was a slave, it had a hold over me. And when I finally quit, when I struggled and suffered, sat in the fire of feeling like, fuck, life sucks. All I wanna do is smoke weed. But I finally got through that. It's like a little light at the end of the tunnel. While you're digging your way out of that tunnel, you're fiending for the weed, you just wanna go back to it. You're depressed, everything sucks. And then you make it to the end of the tunnel. You wake up one day and you're just like happy for the first time in a long time. You don't need the weed anymore. Whatever it may be for you. Maybe it's alcohol, maybe it's porn, maybe it's fucking... It was all the above for me, to be honest. Maybe it's nicotine, maybe you still vape like a freaking idiot. Whatever it may be, I've been through all of those. And like I said, it feels so good to finally be free from these vices. You wake up one day and finally realize, hold on, if someone put weed in front of me, I would prefer not to smoke it. Because I am actually fulfilled being sober. <laughs> You wanna know why it feels so good? Because you realized you have mastered a side of yourself. You've finally taken control of your mind and control over yourself. And honestly, that's why I think vices and addictions can be a good thing, because it gives you the opportunity to overcome them. It gives you the opportunity to make some freaking progress and grow in this world through struggling, because it's not easy to quit these things. Of course it's not, but you now have the opportunity to put yourself in these uncomfortable situations and quit. I'm not telling you to go get addicted to vaping or addicted to smoking weed, but what I am saying is I'm very grateful that I was addicted to those things. Because after making it through to the other side, that light at the end of the tunnel, bro, I've mastered a part of myself and it is truly fulfilling. Now, of course, there are other ways to master yourself. Quitting an addiction is just one part of yourself. You've mastered one part. Congratulations. Now let's master every other part. Let's master your body, let's master your mind, let's master your emotional control, let's master your sexual energy. There are so many different things that we can do to pursue self-mastery. And it's the only way. It is the only way to live a great life. Okay, hear me out. Nothing outside yourself can bring you true fulfillment in this life. No drugs can bring you fulfillment. It may bring you a little bit of pleasure when you're smoking that joint, you get a little high, you get two hours of pleasure, and then you're back to normal two hours later. No amount of alcohol will bring you fulfillment. No fancy cars, no, not your dream car, not, not some watch, none of this materialistic shit, not some Gucci belt. It gives you a temporary spike in pleasure. That's fucking it. True fulfillment comes from within, within yourself. And not from doing nothing, but pursuing things that are hard, putting yourself in uncomfortable situations, showing up every single day and staying disciplined even when you don't feel like it. That's what brings you fulfillment, self-mastery. Every single day, pursuing your goals, every single day going after and chasing your full potential. The happiest days of my life, some of, are when I am literally suffering all day long. When I'm over there scripting videos, then I come over here and I'm recording videos, and the whole time, some part of my brain is telling me, just relax, dude, you don't have to do this. But then if I were to listen to that and go sit in my bed all day and watch Netflix and then relive the glory days, the glory days, maybe pop an edible, hang out, get high. If I were to do that, I would feel like such a piece of shit because I am not pursuing any excellence at all. But when I say fuck that, I'm gonna just do my work, I'm gonna show up, then I'm gonna go smash a workout in the morning, I hit a cold shower, woke up early even though I didn't want to, when I fucking just do things even though I don't feel like it, they are some of the happiest and most fulfilling days of my life. We need to be pursuing this excellence every single day. No excuses or else you will live a pretty fucking average life. You can get away with not chasing self-mastery and live a good life. Okay, you can be addicted to weed, you can play a bunch of video games, you can be out of shape, you can be all these things. You can have an average relationship where you don't even like the woman, but you're just with her because you have kids with her. You can live that way. You can have a good life that way. A good life. But if you want a great life, you need to be reaching your full freaking potential. And that comes from mastering yourself. That comes from doing these things even when you don't want to do them. Doing the boring fucking habits year in and year out. I'm not gonna lie to you, a few weeks ago, I was slacking. And it's the little things, right? It's, it's the, oh, I wake up and I'm like, nah, I don't need to hit a cold shower today. I've already done so many cold showers in my life. Why do I need to keep doing these? And then it's the, it's the other things where it's like, okay, well, 
you know what, I don't have any job to wake up to per se, so why do I need to even set an alarm? And then I sleep in, wake up at like 7.30, 8 o'clock, and I'm like, yeah, it's fine. It's like these little things that add up. And then it's like, oh, you know what, I've already built, I've already built a nice enough body, so why do I need to go to the gym? Then I skip a gym workout, and all these little things a few weeks ago, they were adding up, taking a toll on me mentally, and I didn't even realize it until it had been a couple weeks of being a little pussy that I realized, hang on, there's a reason why I feel unfulfilled right now. Because I'm not pursuing excellence. Because I'm not pushing myself every single day to reach my full potential. The reason I hop in those cold showers is to overcome something that is hard. It's never fun or easy to get in cold water. But I want to be the best version of myself, and so do you. That's why you watch my channel. Every single day, do these boring fucking habits. And watch what happens to your life over the next three, four, five. 20 years. Do you want to be an out of shape 40 year old who still watches fucking porn and plays video games and is a little bitch and has a wife who just like owns him? Do you want that? I, I don't. That's why I'm pursuing self mastery. That's why I'm fucking like, there's this, there's this narrative sometimes on the internet where it's like, ah, self improvement's not that important. Bullshit. Bullshit. Self improvement isn't important if you want to live just a good life. If you want to live a great life, you need to be pursuing self-mastery. If you don't ever master yourself, if you still are a slave to your emotions, to your addictions, if you still have a body that fucking is ugly and fat and, and shitty looking, how do you expect to even make any money in this world? How do you expect to even get any success? And honestly, this lifestyle isn't for anybody. So the people who are happy with just being average, then fine. They don't need to be pursuing self-mastery. But for you and I, bro, we must. We must every single day show up to that gym even when we don't want to. We must take cold showers. A few weeks ago, I stopped meditating too. Oh yeah, I've already meditated enough. What's the fucking point? The point is, dude, it keeps you locked in mentally. Point is, it keeps you in the present moment. I know the benefits of meditation. It's helped my life dramatically. But when you stop doing it, when you stop doing these habits, and you stop chasing excellence and pursuing self-mastery, you fall off. You become a weaker version of yourself. You go back to the old you. There's no fucking destination where you can just take your foot off the gas. That's a myth. As soon as you stop growing, you start dying. So recently, I've made it a choice to go all in every single day, and I am more fulfilled right now than I have been in a long time. That's why I'm posting daily videos right now. Because I realized, another thing I realized is, you know what? I'm gonna literally be a father in two to three years. I'm gonna be a daddy in two to three years. Big daddy Matt over here. Think about that. And a couple weeks ago, I was slacking saying, nah, I'm already good enough as is. Bullshit. Bullshit. That right there, that motivation of, damn, I'm about to literally have a kid in a few years. There's no time to waste. You, chances are, are like 20 something years old. There's no fucking time to waste. Think about it. It's 2024. It was literally just 2020 a few years ago. We were going through this bullshit COVID and all that crap. And it's already 2024. Look where time is gone. It is moving, my friend. It is already April of 2024. Four months in. We're a quarter of the way through 2024. I mean, that's just, it's mind blowing to me how fast time moves. We don't have time to sit around and fuck off. Every single day we must pursue this excellence. We must put ourselves in these uncomfortable situations. I'm back to running my mile every single day because I fucking hate running. But I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna do it, even though I don't want to. This is part of hardening your mind. This is part of being a master over yourself, over your mind, over your body, over everything. You wanna achieve anything in this world? It starts within, it starts with yourself. You will never have a good relationship if you are a bitch and listen to your feelings. You will never be a good father if you are a bitch and you listen to your feelings. You will never be successful, have a good career, or build a business if you are a bitch and listen to your feelings. Everything, it all starts with yourself. If you still wanna be a slave to these vices for the rest of your life, congratulations you will live an average life. Being honest, it's that simple. You will live an average life. Self-mastery is the only way. Like I was saying, I just had that realization that it doesn't ever get easier. There's no destination where you can just take your foot off the gas. Oh, okay, now I can stop taking cold showers. Oh, okay, now I can stop working out. Cause it's like, as soon as I stop doing that, I'm just gonna be going backwards. I'm gonna be making less progress. I'm not even gonna be progressing at all. I'm literally going to be falling off. I'm gonna be dying. You may think I'm being too serious right now, but like, 
what else do you have but the ability to pursue greatness every single day with yourself? The ability to push yourself, to be disciplined, to put yourself in these uncomfortable situations. The fastest way to fucking do it is to just get in a cold shower every single morning and shut the fuck up and just do it. It's also to work out every single day. Oh, but I shouldn't train every day. You don't have to lift weights every day, but do something every single day to master your body, to get yourself in shape, track your macros. Just be dialed in with everything. We want to be on point. We are in our 20s, bro. Why would we wait till we're 30 or 40 and have this midlife crisis and be like, damn, I'm a fucking fat piece of shit. I'm out of shape. I hate my life. No, we're starting now. And that's why we're going to live great lives. Not mediocre, not good, great. Because I'm telling you right now, everything starts with yourself. It all starts with being able to control your emotions, being able to control that little bitch lower, lower self voice. That's literally the fucking devil trying to keep you stuck. Screw that voice. You hear your alarm in the morning? Wake up. What's up with this snoozing shit? No, wake up. You gotta be grateful you got another day to live and push yourself to the max. This is like some David Goggins shit. You don't have to be as extreme as him, because I'm not. But damn, maybe I should be. Self-mastery, man, self-mastery. I feel so good right now. I've been waking up at 5 a.m., been taking cold showers again, been meditating every morning, been pushing myself to get daily uploads out, been grinding out the course that I have, which by the way, you can check out the link in the description if you want to build your dream body, master your sexual energy, get more girls in your life, then check that out. It's like, I got shit to do. I'm 24, there's no more time to waste. This is gonna be my year. Everyone keeps fucking saying that, and then what happens? They don't actually do anything. This was meant to be a wake-up call. Let's go, bro. We can't be slacking. We can't be slacking. How you do one thing is how you do everything. If you want to slack on one little thing here and there, if you want to keep skipping workouts every now and again, that energy is going to carry over into every part of your life. That's why self-mastery is also so important because if you just discipline yourself to work out every day, take cold showers, meditate, read, do all the good habits, if you just discipline yourself to do that, these good habits carry over into every part of your life, your relationships your wealth, how you're able to make money in this world, everything. It's truly a blessing to be able to wake up each and every day and push yourself. Truly, you don't realize how beautiful it is to just wake up. Not everybody has that luxury. Not everybody can wake up and freaking walk to the cold shower and hop in there and start their day with a bang and then get out feeling like a freaking king because they just conquered that lower self bitch voice inside their brain. It's a blessing to be able to do that. It's a blessing to be able to get under that bar and smash out bench press and hit a PR and keep making progress, keep getting stronger. It's a freaking blessing. Life is beautiful. That's how I'll end this video. I know it was a little bit of a rant. I got pretty fired up, I'm not gonna lie, but man, I'm, I'm fired up right now. I'm so pumped for the future. And I'm pumped to be in the present moment each and every day pursuing self-mastery. That's where it all starts. It's the only way. Join me as we pursue our best selves, our greatest versions of ourselves. Like the video if you want, comment if you want, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.